When you're 20s, you fuck with Japanese cars, and when you get older, you fuck with dirt. You come out to the dirt. That's yeah. what they say, with age comes the cage, right? <laughs> We're over here with Brian Crower and the guys from HP Tuners. We got our Pro R loaded up on the dyno. Building the hard parts is easy, right? Fabricating, doing the engineering portion, getting things to fit is easy for us. But now we got to get to the tuning part, and the tuning's been a challenge. These are new rigs. We don't necessarily know everything about them, so there's some trial and error and some R&D that has to happen. So right now we're gonna figure out some stuff. We had a couple challenges where the throttle didn't want to open up all the way, got a couple of the little tuning bugs, but this is where we're gonna to try to figure it out. So stay tuned, hopefully we'll get some great results. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some great results. If not, it's just gonna sound sick on the dyno. So check it out, you guys. over here for a few minutes. What do we have going on with the Pro R over here today? So we love boost. Using the Kraftworks uh, supercharger, you know, I mean, what are we talking like five, five pounds of boost? I'd say if we can squeeze about 220 out of this thing, that'd be a successful day. You know, they're stock 164 to the wheel. Anything over 200, anything in the 250, anything in the 300, is, that's gonna be a sweet spot for what we're gonna do. And that's, that's what we're thinking with the Kraftworks supercharger. We think that's gonna be a really, really good mod that people can do to get them in that in that sweet spot for power basically we, we want a universal setup to be able to drive around hard pack the dunes it's a it's just a really great car i mean they set the bar going up to uh from one liter to two liter so we're just really excited to see what it can do we appreciate your time brian well, thank you coming off of the dyno. We just had actually pretty good success. We're only gonna let you guys know some small details. We're gonna say about 90 to 100 horsepower increases. Uh, obviously the thing's coming off the dyno in one piece. The kit did great and the power numbers on point. Like I said, about 90 to 100 horsepower is what we're gonna claim until we have official numbers for everybody. That wraps it up here on the dyno session for us at King of the Hammers. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, give us your feedback. And uh, I mean, we'll see you later. I'm Brandon. Till next time. Craftworks.